brown eyes, eh? Good girl. I can claim him, I got brown eyes too. <laughs> Miscarriages. You've got seven children now, but mm. uh, yeah. she made up still fitting up with that night. Well, they retired and they, they didn't retire. We were here at the beginning. I didn't want to retire at all, actually, but it was the rules that once you turn 81, they consider your blood's not worth bottling. In Australia, up until about 1967, um, there are literally thousands of babies dying uh, each year and doctors didn't know why. Um, and it was awful, there were women who were having numerous miscarriages and babies were being born um, with brain damage. Uh, researchers discovered anti-D um, and then James was discovered to have this antibody in his blood, which was amazing. How many anti-gene injections did you have? Three. Wow. My own daughter getting an injection that produced my grandson. That was probably where I said, oh, wow, you know, it's, uh, it, it was great. Maybe it was my ego, and we got up to about 800, and I said, oh, well, I'll go for a 1,000. And then I got to a 1,000, I said, well, I might as well keep going, it doesn't hurt. They just said you needed the vaccine, I didn't think about it any further. And then looking into it a bit more, obviously I found out about James and how amazing he is and how many donations he's made and that it was all because of him. It is good to know that my anti D is doing the right thing and making a lot of mothers, a lot of fathers uh, very happy. Every batch of anti D um, that has ever been made in Australia has come from James's blood, and more than 17% of women in Australia are at risk. So James has helped save a lot of lives. I've heard of now. People like you. One lady had seven miscarriages, and she's got seven children now. I had no wish to give up. In fact, I didn't want to give up this week either, but uh, it was my last donation. The last, the last chance I had to uh, put something out there for uh, to be used uh, in the future. And now we're near at the end, you would think. <laughs> so let's hope the next person in the line steps up and uh, breaks my record. That would be great.